So studying biomedical science was definitely one of the best decisions that I ever made in my life. However, there definitely are a bunch of things that I really wish I knew before I started my degree. What is going on guys? My name is Kenji, welcome back to my channel. If it's not the first time you're watching one of my videos, but just in case it is, I'm a doctor working in London, but also a biomedical science graduate. So actually before I started medical school, I did a three year degree in biomedical science and also did a bunch of research before actually going on to become a doctor later on. And the reason why I'm doing this video is not to put you guys off by medical science as i said i really love that degree and i'm so glad that i did it so please don't take this video in a wrong way however what i want to make sure is that when you guys choose to do biomedical science or maybe you've already chosen i think it's really important for you guys to make an informed decision on actually doing that degree so i'm sure you already know all the positives about studying the degree i'm sure you've already been to all the open days and have spoken to people doing biomedical science but this is probably the video that people wouldn't actually tell you when it comes to the degree to avoid being negative but again i think it's super important important for you guys. So let's move on to the first thing that I really wish I knew before studying biomedical science, which are that the job prospects are actually quite unclear. And this can be a good thing and a bad thing. Now, the good thing about studying biomedical science is that it's a very broad degree. So when you study it and you have that degree to your name, you can go into a number of things. You can go into further study in, you know, doing a master's, doing a PhD. You can go work in the industry. You can go and work as a biomedical scientist. You can go on to do medicine like I did. If you want a full video talking about all of the job prospects or different opportunities when you graduate and go check out my video up there that I did but essentially this can also be a bad thing now biomedical science is kind of a bit of a stepping stone so when you do the degree most people don't just like finish off of that degree and go immediately start working they use that as a platform to then move on to jump onto the next thing. I remember when I was in my final year of biomedical science and a lot of people were off already, you know, getting jobs in different areas of biomedical science or moving on to study something different. You can definitely feel a bit lost if you don't know exactly why you're starting the degree. For some people, that's great. For some people, they don't actually mind not knowing where they're going or just learning as they go along about what they want to do for the rest of their lives. But for some reason, that can also cause a lot of anxiety. In my experience of being a medical student, one thing that people really like about medicine is that as soon as you start the degree on day one, you know exactly why you're doing this degree you know exactly what job you're going to get at the end of it so there is a clearly defined goal right at the end so when you go into biomedical science it's worth knowing and it's definitely worth bearing in mind that the job prospects can be quite unclear and it's okay when you start your you know day one of the degree don't worry about everyone who comes in and like oh i know exactly what i'm going to do i'm going to be this exact you know specific researcher in this particular field and that's what i'm working towards don't let that put you off go in with an open mind learn a few things see what things you enjoy see how you grow within the degree as well within your time from being 18 to 21 and then go ahead and decide what you want to do next and how that matches the values that you have through the degree have fun enjoy yourself learn about yourself and the time will come where you do know where to move on to next the second thing that i didn't really enjoy about biomedical science is that it's really hard to know how to do well now there really is a big gray area in what will give you the best grade now again comparing this to medicine in medicine all you have to do is learn the lecture content these are the diseases you need to know these are the management plans you need to know and as long as you know these exact points then you should be fine and you should be able to pass your exams at the end of the year and a lot of the exams not all the exams are very objective so the first three years for example are all basically multiple choice questions or actually in the whole entire five years in terms of the theory apart from your practical exams all of the exams i had in medical school were all multiple choice questions so there literally was no subjective sort of nature to marking the exams however when you do start biomedical science a lot of your exams exams are going to be either short answer questions or actually essay based questions where you literally have to write a full essay in that exam and that brings some subjectivity into it because it depends on you know what sort of person is marking it depends on what sort of questions come up and those sort of things actually make it hard to know exactly how to do well in the degree from the second year of biomedical science i remember all of the lecturers telling us that if you want to do really well if you want to get a first class then you actually have to go beyond the lecture content it's not just about learning the lecture slides and then being able to sit the exam you actually have to go off and do your own research to further your understanding so that when you sit the exam and you're writing your essay based answers, you're able to actually give references and cite different authors and different scientific papers that actually were based around that topic. And that can, again, be very difficult to know exactly how much you need to know, how much you need to revise in order to do well in those exams. So basically, there is no defined content like there is in medicine. And again, for someone like me, that can be quite stressful because if you want to do really well in your exams, it's hard to know exactly how much you need to do and how much you have to learn in order to get the answers right and again they can literally ask you any sort of topic to write an essay about and that can be quite difficult in context of the exam the third thing that i really wish i knew before starting biomedical science is that the exam season 
is extremely hectic. And when I look back on my time in biomedical science, honestly, the exams had nothing on medicine. Those exams were so long and so hectic compared to my medical school exams. The reason being is that I remember in my first year of biomedical science, we had like eight to 10 exams during exam season. And some of these exams were three hours long. In my final year, again, we had so many exams. Again, these are all like essay based exams where you had to write a whole entire essay during these exams. And it just can be quite overwhelming. Going back to my first year again, I remember we had around about seven exams back to back, like one in the morning, one in the afternoon, literally for like eight or seven exams straight. And that was super tiring and a lot of content to you know, memorize all at once. And this was in comparison to my exams in medical school, where in medical school, at least in King's College London, which is a medical school that I went to, all our exams were right at the end of the year. And we had a practical exam, which was an OSCE, and we had a written exam. In the written exam, it was like an hour and a half to two hours long and only like 100 to 150 multiple choice questions. So again, very straightforward. And the practical exam it was quite objective in terms of what you had to memorize and learn. Not very difficult compared to the exams that we had in biomedical science, which just had a lot of essay content, a lot of multiple choice questions and a lot of things you just had to memorize, including, like I said, the names of the authors, the names of the different studies. If you want to get a first class in your exams, exam season is quite hectic and you can expect that. In addition to all of the difficult exams you guys have, the fourth thing to remember is that your coursework is very heavy. Now again, sorry I keep doing this, but in medical school, we had maybe one essay a year, maybe two essays a year, but in biomedical science, I cannot remember a time in biomedical science where we had no coursework, where we can literally just chill, have fun with our friends, go out and enjoy our time. We almost always had at least one coursework to do basically. We had you know, maybe essays to write, we had multiple essays to write sometimes, we had lab reports, we had presentations. Because the thing is, when you're doing biomedical science, you're doing and you're juggling a number of modules. We had like maybe six modules at once. And in each individual module, that all came with its own coursework. So again, maybe at times you'll only have like one week free where there is no coursework in between. But oftentimes you have to juggle all of this different coursework that has to be due in at a particular date, which meant that in comparison to medicine, in medicine it would be very, very stressful, but you'd only have maybe two to three weeks of stress at the end of the year when you actually have your exams. Comparing that to biomedical science, it felt like there was a lower level of stress compared to medicine, but it was constantly there at the back of your mind because you know you always have an essay to be writing, always have a lab report to write, and that felt like just generally quite stressful and quite long when doing biomedical science. And by the way, this is probably a good time to tell you guys if you need any help at all with your coursework or your lab reports or even writing a biomedical science personal statement, you can find all of that information, all of the ebooks and all of the articles I've written all on my website. You can guys can go ahead and check out and I'll leave a link down below in the description as well. The next thing that I really wish I knew before starting biomedical science is that there will be points where you really wonder why you are studying this and why you're doing this degree. And don't get me wrong, it's overall a very enjoyable degree. It's also a very interesting degree. So you do go through a lot about medical science. You learn like deeply about medical science and biology and chemistry and all these things. But that also means that there are a number of modules that come as compulsory, which you probably have no interest in and you don't really enjoy, but you just have to study it because it's a compulsory module. So for example, sometimes we had a whole entire lecture on one particular scientific experimental technique like Western blotting, or we have things like statistics, we'll have entire modules on statistics. And you're just like, why am I learning this? Like, why do I have to do this? I remember this one particular module called IMEG, so the Introduction to Medical and Experimental Genetics, and I hated that module with a passion. It was just one of those modules that went through a number of scientific techniques. And I was like, when in my life will I ever have to learn this and ever need to use this, even if I remain a scientist? I just really didn't enjoy it. In those particular moments when you're doing these modules that just don't make sense to you and just feel like a waste of time, we have coursework about a random essay topic like the gut microbiota, and you really don't care about it, you really don't have any interest in it. In those moments, it can be quite difficult to stay motivated and keep going when you know that this is not really a module that I enjoy or something I want to do. That can definitely be quite difficult. But I do imagine that most degrees probably have the same problem. But again, comparing it to medicine, whenever I was in medical school, pretty much every single lecture that I attended, everything that I learned, for me, I knew there was a purpose as to why I'm learning this. You know, I'm learning this particular disease because one day I might have to diagnose it in a patient. I'm learning this particular management plan to help patients in the future and to save lives. I knew exactly why I was learning what I was learning. So just be aware that if you want to study biomedical science, you will probably enjoy the degree as a whole. But there may be parts of the year where you just don't feel like you're understanding the relevance of what you're learning and don't particularly feel very passionate about it, but you have to get through it and it will come 
to pass. And the final reason that you may not want to study biomedical science is that it's a very specific field. Now, if you go down the traditional route that a lot of biomedical scientists do, if you go on to study biomedical science, it's a very, you know, general area. You learn the broad sort of concepts in medical science. Then you might go on to do a master's, let's say in cancer. So you might find cancer particularly an interesting part of biomedical science. You might want to then go on to do a PhD in cancer and get, you know, rather than doing all of cancer, you choose a very specific cancer. Like let's say, for example, Burkitt's lymphoma. You might write your PhD thesis on that. Then you might get a job as a postdoctoral researcher in a particular gene within Burkitt's lymphoma in that particular type of cancer. And you see what I'm saying here. The more time you spend in biomedical science, the more specific you get in that particular field. And for some people, that can be not very enjoyable. Some people might get joy out of spending more and more time in a particular field, which is very, very specific in a very niche area. Some people spend their entire lives researching one particular gene in one particular type of cancer in this area of cancer sciences, literally spending their whole entire life investigating a particular thing. And to them, that might bring them a lot of joy. But as I said, for some people, they might prefer being more a generalist. They might not like getting very, very specific. So you really have to think about what sort of person you are before you go into biomedical science. Are you someone who's a generalist or are you someone who you think can spend years and years and years learning about a specific area of medical science and seeing where that takes you? Hopefully it's been very informative. If it has, please leave a like. Make sure to subscribe with notifications on so never miss another upload. Go check out my website. There's a bunch of stuff on there in biomedical science that might help you with your application to biomedical science or just in terms of doing well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.